Hey guys, we're going in a new grocery store that I've never been in before. This place is called uh, Shop and Save, and it's lunchtime. So I want to check this place out. I'm going to spin this around so you guys can see. Avocado prices are expensive. They got their own little cafe in here. Let's see what we got over here. No, I cannot have any of that. What is this? This is a small chicken. Well, oh, that's tiny. It's tiny, tiny, tiny. Nope. I ain't doing that. With some fresh guacamole. Oh, that's salsa verde, not guacamole. Feeling like it's kind of a guacamole night tonight. Ooh, no, thank you. No, no, no. Zucchini pancakes. Cheap cheese dip. Brinsda, Brinsda? I don't know what that is. I'll pass on all that. Let's go see what we got going on over here. I'm just looking for some cheap lunch. Preferably some kind of meat. There's plenty of it here. What is this? Canadian bacon? Oh, that looks good. Canadian bacon. This is deli smoked chicken. Oh, that looks really good. Smoked chicken. But how much is it? $4.68. Uh, I'm feeling cheap today. I don't know. I'm just kind of feeling cheap. I don't know what that is. Smoke. Salo pork fat. Smoked pork fat. That actually looks good. Smoked right here in Chicago, Illinois. North Star country style head cheese. Oh, I love this stuff. Let's see what they got in here. Pork. Head meat, water, salt, gelatin. That would be a heck of a dinner right there. Man, that would be. There's no junk in this. I want this. And I'm hoping I can get some cheap lunch meat on sale. Look at all this smoked meat. Oh my god, I'd never seen anything like this in my life. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. Okay, I'm gonna put the head cheese back. I found something else. Oh, for you low budget, low budget people out there, let me show you this real quick. A lot of times, shop and save is the name a lot of times at these delis you'll find the end products of the lunch meat over here really 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 cheap right so here's chicken loin this is just a package of random lunch meat ends ham salami turkey all those kind of things that actually looks really good and i'm trying to live cheap right now I would love to snack on this for lunch. Here's roast beef. I 
I think I'm gonna go with this. No, not that one. That looks fattier right there. It's got some roast beef. It's got some chicken in there. Ham. Can I have a half a pound of the country head cheese? Is that the most popular one? Yes, the pink. Okay. Half pound? Half pound. And what is the what is the difference between that and the chicken head cheese? You just made with chicken product? Yeah, the other one is just chicken and this one has pork in it. I'm showing people how I order my lunch. Oh. Oh my god, this is so good. This is an autofocus phone. Sometimes it doesn't pick up right away what I'm trying to get. Oh my god, this is so good. This is delicious. Mm, that's so good. That is so good. Wow. Um, I want to, what bacon do you recommend that you have over there? Uh, the, the one that you most would be the munchies. Would like to taste it? Please. Hello, hello, hello. Well, look down here. We got this Highlander bacon. Oh my God, I found my new store. At least it's affordable. It's not outrageous. Some of the other places that have this kind of stuff, Look at this here, smoked baby back ribs. You guys got everything. A little bit of everything. They're trying to please everybody. <laughs> what about the ribs? Are they good? Oh my God, that is so good. I could eat this every day for the rest of my life. And you know, the bad thing about it is I've been eating more bacon, more red meat, more meats in general, and I've lost 140 plus pounds in the last three years because I don't even listen to medical professionals no more. I just cut out all the sugar and the nasty carbs and I eat all the good stuff. And I've been doing fine. My doctors, the protein and it's natural fat. It's fat that God has given us. It's not something from somewhere else or whatever. No, I love this bacon. Can I have a half a pound, please? Yeah, it's perfect. Look at this. This is perfect. Oh my God. What is this over here? Fresh smoked bacon. Smoked pork butt. Single Canadian bacon. I mean, this is the freaking store of all stores right here. Nobody has this much bacon like this. Holy moly, I've never seen so much bacon in my life. Danish smoked bacon, double smoked bacon, imported bacon, fresh rib. Thank you. Oh, that's it. Thank you. I know where I can come get my lunch now. Thank you. Smoked bones, rib bones. Homemade kishka. Tulaski sausage, roasted grouska sausage, cone sausage, smoke cock, smoke baby back ribs, homemade pressed bacon, spirica, hunter's bacon, imported dry crosska, uh, vegetable roll or veal roll with vegetables, veal roll with bacon, roll bacon and spices. Royal pork butt. Oh my god, this is like got hot head cheese, pork tongue head cheese, pheasant head cheese, ear head cheese, blood head cheese, chicken head cheese, jelly pork loin cheese, white head cheese, country head cheese. Oh my god, this is this is like 
the glory hole of bacon. This is amazing. German style ham, sandwich ham, royal ham, grandma's ham, hunter smoked ham, all natural ham, Ukrainian ham, Moscow ham, Highlander ham, peppered ham, black forest ham, homemade, homemade ham with fat. Ham of the bone, country style ham, double Canadian bacon. I cannot believe this. Okay, let's go to the truck and eat lunch. This is crazy, guys. This is like, I've never seen this much bacon in my life. The store is huge. It's actually a really, really, really big store. I'm gonna enjoy this uh, this dinner here. This is gonna be amazing. Okay, go to customer service. He said, "I will go to customer service." Yeah, but the problem with me having music on while I'm playing the video is sometimes they will take your video down because you're playing somebody else's music in your video. So I have to be careful of that sometimes. I don't know if they can hear it enough to really pick it up on the, on the uploading algorithm. How are you? Good. Do you need a bag? Nope. I'm trying to share with people how I, uh, you know the keto diet, right? You don't know what the keto diet is? It's basically cutting out all sugar and carbs and just eating real food, real fats, real protein. So I try to show people whenever I go out what I'm, uh, basically how I eat. Cheaper than going to uh, McDonald's or Burger King or anywhere else. And it's real food. I've never seen so much bacon in my life. This place has every kind of bacon that you could ever want. Crazy about And that's, that's what I like. And I didn't know you were right down the street from me. I work at Rush. So when I saw that, I was like, um, yeah, I gotta go to this place. <laughs> Thank you. Excuse me. Okay, okay, okay. It's lunchtime. Now you guys get to see the, the new truck after I, uh, after the car got stolen and totaled. I found a guy with a truck. He wanted like four grand for it. I talked him down to three, three thousand. I offered him twenty eight hundred at first, but he didn't want to take twenty eight hundred. I told him I'll, I'll pay you three thousand dollars and I'll make payments on like the last fifteen hundred of it. I'll give you no. I give you twelve hundred dollars now, and I'll make a hundred dollar payment because of my situation financially. And uh, bam, there she is. In all her glory. It's got a little rust around the wheel well, like right there. 
a little bit right there on the bottom of the door a little bit right there on the front I'm gonna fix all that though but overall I mean that's a good truck I've been driving it now since it happened it's a fixer-upper but everything works there's some rust right there I'm gonna fix and there's a little bit of rust back here but that's typical for Chicago so I'm gonna flip the camera around get in the truck and have lunch 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 time lunch time a lunchy time that's what the guy says at work rich you talk too much work it too much lunch time Bob, all right, all right, all right. Lunch time, lunch time. I got it. It's lunch time. So now we eat the bacon. All right. I love head cheese. Any kind of head cheese, I absolutely love it. What do we do here? Hold on a second. Come back on. Stay on. But I love head cheese. Let me see if I can tilt this down a little bit. Soon. Outside. And it's got all the marbling in between. And this will hold me over until tomorrow night. Sometime I won't have to eat again. Mmm. Probably the best head cheese that I've ever had in my life. Now I did make some head cheese. If you guys want to know how to make it, you get a, um, and it's not actual head product. Like it is, but it isn't. It's not brain and stuff like that like people think. Uh, you take a four pound butt, or you can take, you know, three to four pounds of hog jaw. J-O-W-L, I think they call it. I think it's how it's spelled, but it's hog jaw. It's the meat of the jaw. Or you can take a four, like a three to four pound pork butt and put it in your pressure cooker or slow cook it until it's ready to just completely fall apart and save all that juice that's in between it. Go ahead and fill the water up all the way to the top of the butt. You can even toss some pig's feet and stuff in there to get the gelatin out of it. Completely. And then take your pig's feet out as well and pull all the, the, the collagen, everything off the bone, shred it all, throw all the bones away. And then mix all that meat and stuff that you shredded up inside a big bowl. And then take a uh, pan, like a bacon pan that's about two or three inches thick, and put all that meat loosely inside that pan in the bottom. And then take that leftover juice that's in the bottom of that... Uh, that. So what I did was a four-pound Boston butt, two fig pig's feet split in half, so four halves, and water all the way up to the top and I threw in about a half a pound of chicken feet for the extra collagen and stuff. Shredded all that up when it was done cooking ready to fall apart, put it in the pan and then took that juice that was left over in the bottom and ladled it across the top. Chop up some pepper, some green green onion, stuff like that. Put it all in there with that meat and mix it up and then ladle that stuff over the top of it. Season it however you like. Put it in the fridge. Next day you wake up, you're ready to start cutting slices. It's just, oh my God, it's so good. The spicier, the better. Here's that bacon. I mean, this is, this is, this is, this is not even bacon that you can get. The best quality bacon in, in the the section, you know, in the the deli section doesn't even come out. This is all almost pure meat. It's probably, I would say, it's probably seventy percent, seventy to eighty percent meat, and only about twenty percent fat. I mean, this is this really looks good. Hmm. Oh my god. This is amazing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you guys through the store one day. I'm going to come to work early and then we'll walk through the store and see what kind of stuff they have. So you get to see the whole store. I didn't. I thought this was going to be some, some cheap store. I didn't think it was going to be that good. Thank you. Thank you, Brennan. I didn't know that was you. I didn't see that comment on there. 
sometimes I lose the comments. But this is this is just so good. All right, I'm not gonna leave you guys on here while I eat this because this is not a mukbang video, and a lot of people don't like watching other people eat. So I wanted you to see what was going on tonight. New store, new lunch. I'm not out here eating junk and stuff like that. I mean, I'm trying to do the best that I can in this situation. I did my week of standard American experiment. It was trash. Loved the taste of all the food, but just made me feel like total dog crap. I mean, just terrible, terrible, terrible. And now that I'm back to eating fats and meat and stuff like that every single day, I feel amazing. I mean, it's night and day compared to how I feel. So, let's tune out. Let's do this again. Give me some ideas on videos you guys want me to do. Nobody ever gives me any ideas. I don't know if it's because I cover so many different topics or what it is. But give me some ideas. Have a good night too. Thank you. Brennan, everybody. See ya. Thank you. Remember to give this video a thumbs up. I want other people to see what kind of food I eat. Thank you. Appreciate you.